Hi, I'm Bobcat Goldthwait. I made a new movie called The World's Greatest Dad, and it stars Robin Williams. One of the weirder things that people have mentioned is that he's nude in it, and that's not the shocking part. This is a comedy uh, aimed at an adult audience. Um, that, that's all. And when I say adult, I don't mean it's going to be risky, eh? You know. <laughs> it's, uh, and I don't consider myself an intellect, but uh, if you really kick ass on Guitar Hero, um, don't go to this movie. Well, how about you come over to my place for something hot and spicy? Is that a double entendre? No, it's going to make my chili. And then bang you. Right. The fact that Robin shows up nude in the movie, no one even brings up to me, which is kind of weird. Like, you know, full frontal from Robin Williams and people are going, no, that's not the weird part, you know. When Robin showed up for that scene, it was weird because uh, he had shaved. <laughs> and I, I was like, oh man, you just cost me the bear community. And, and he said that it took like two women. I don't know if that's true. Could have just been one woman watching, but they, they said they, they, a break was involved. Why can't we give love one more chance? Why can't we give love? Give love. Give love. Stop. Give. Jason, you didn't write that. That's a Queen Bowie song, Under Pressure. What were you thinking? I didn't think you knew that one. <laughs> Jason, I'm white. Robin and I have been friends for a long time. I think I met him when I was... first time I met him, actually, I think I was like 20 or 21. And My early stand-up, I really didn't do traditional stand-up. I would just, like, read a Dear John letter and cry or gut fish on stage, and that would be my act. When I remember a woman threw up because the fish was kind of old, I digressed. <laughs> and I put the mic down so you could hear. So my act wasn't really traditional stand-up when I got started. And my persona, I guess, was pretty extreme. And, and so the first time I had like a leisure suit on, I had all this mascara on that was running. And the club owner's like, Robin Williams is coming. We we're in Boston. You go hide. <laughs> they didn't want him to see me. That's true. The guy named was Paul Barkley. A prick, I always remember that. So I went and hid in the kitchen so Robin Williams wouldn't see me. And so Robin Williams gets there and everyone's, everyone's bugging him so he goes and hides in the kitchen. So that was the first time I met him. I was like, oh. <laughs> Daryl came in and he auditioned for the part of uh, Andrew, the sweet kid, and then Daryl uh, lied to me and said he was there for Kyle. It's really funny because he's ad-libbing some of that stuff where he's talking about chili dogging. And I don't, I, I had to call him up, but I'm like, hey man, what's chili dogging? He goes, oh, that's when someone craps on someone's chest. I go, oh, okay. Hey, I heard you got your license. He goes, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Bye. So it's pretty weird that I have a friend now that just got his license. What is it? Ooh, is that one being crept on? Happy birthday, it's fucking German Scheiser porn. All right, dude, it's fucking hot, right, yo? No, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you, yo? I think my son watches you change. Your son? <laughs> I thought he was a zombie. <sighs> I wish, I like zombies. And now what I do is I go out and I do stand-up and I do the occasional voice work uh, so I can keep making these, uh, these movies that are very personal. I say that, but, you know, the harsh reality of it is, is that I'll be in Police Academy 8 <laughs> in about a, a week. No, that's not true. I, that only exists on IMDb, those pricks. And so now when I go do publicity, people are going, what's going on with Police Academy 8? I go, I don't know. Half the cast is dead, so it better be CGI. You guys doing it? Yep, yeah, all the time. Non-stop. I'm hurting right now. <laughs> oh, let's not make me throw up. <laughs> There's two ways to watch a movie. You go to a theater or you see it at home. As long as someone's not talking while you're at home, uh, Actually, that should be a service that you supply, actually, for VOD. Um, kids that sit in the, your house with you and text while you're trying to watch the movie. Just so you'll have the theatrical experience. <laughs> just, just kids. White kids with baseball hats on going, oh, no, he didn't.
Why don't we do something together tomorrow? Why? Does it feel bad? Yeah. No. Like build a rocket? Sure, if you want to. That's retarded. You can watch the movie Friday, August 21st, in the theaters. It's competing against some glorious bastards, but I really think we're going to crush that film. I really do. I think Tarantino should have shifted the date, but whatever. Or you can watch it now on HDNet Movies or VOD, right in your home. And nobody's going to talk during it.